Okay, this is a video on the gravestone pattern and what it means and what I would have done. We can see that this mark, I mean, this TIRX, TIRX came from 90 to 12 and is having what I would call a dead cat bounce here. I don't know how far it'll go, but it is in this, it was in this rising channel. And we had a couple of things. So the, the one to know at this and this will show a really good pattern because the the question was did you get out of this did i get out of this trade because i did write it and i said you get this big long wick up i wrote if the next candle's red you need to get out of the trade sure enough it was red now we have and i said it was blow off volume here's huge volume five hundred thousand in the one candle next three candles are red so it did go from you know 1677 down to 1640 so you know 35 cent move to the downside you don't the thing about this candle is you don't know how far it's going to pull back but 80 percent of the time 70 percent of the time it pulls back severely in this case it didn't but what it did do is the next time it popped here it failed not only to get to new highs but we didn't get the volume now look at these candles uh, here's your here's your doji spinning top candle of indecision here's a candle with a big long wick next candle's red you need to get out of that trade this is going to trade back down to 16. so this candles it may not the first try may not have backed off that much in relative terms but it set it up for the next candle these next candles to fail and we'll see if i if i'm right or not because this is live this is live so let's see what happens here now but you can see that the same thing happened here you had the big long wick up next candles right you need to get out of the trade now this one was more of a spinning top really didn't really make a gravestone pattern like you got here and here so let's see where this uh where this trades out now because um it is live and we're going into the close. Now we can see this next pattern here. So we, we, we got the big long wick, the next candle's red, and we get a hammer. But is this, you know, is this the bottom of it? Is this the capitulation? Or is this a hammer pattern and this is going to roll over and continue to lo go lower? I think that this double top in here on lower volume and the big long wick candle means that this trade is is done now it's going to continue to trade lower so let's see what happens so you know it traded up to high of 742 and now it trade and then traded down to 657. So that's an 80 cent swing. Uh, but you know where to get out at here. Well, we talked about getting out at the. In this case, you would have exited probably around 1690. This probably goes back to. The, the this may get a squeeze into the close because we're such we're so close to the end of the day. But I think this trade is over now here. I think this probably trades back down to 16 and a quarter. Maybe this level here, 1640, and then down to 16. There's your next support right there. Now this could be forming, uh, you know, a head and shoulders pattern, left shoulder, head. If this pops up, you know, into this area here and then rolls over.
Um, it's right at the all time high. It's hard to say if this is gonna, if this is gonna get a squeeze going into the close now, cause we're right at the end of the day, or if people are not gonna wanna hold this over the weekend and we'll see it, see it sell off. Again, you, these big long wicks at the top, uh, the bears, and if this, you know, this one again closes down near the bottom, you know, the bears are in control of this, the market now. Uh, if this pops through, 1750 though and starts to go then the bears are going to be scrambling to cover their short positions and the momentum traders will come in to trade it into the end of the day but you can see again the, the candle here uh, is lower volume than this candle here and this candle here you need volume to go and the red candles here to the downside are quite a bit higher um, than these, you know, this green candle. This is a, you know, big, big red candle. So now th this chart now, it, it is in a flagging pattern here but it has triple topped and you get these long wicks up. Uh, I think this probably continues to, you know, to pull back coming into the close. May get a sharp sell off on it. Okay, we'll see if it holds support here at the 1640 level, 1635. Or if it if it sells off sharply down to 16. So just to reiterate, we get the big blow off volume, big long wick up, closes uh, near the bottom of the range. Next candle's red. I say you need to get out of this trade. It does come down, holds the support at the, at 35, 1635, bounces again, but the the next volume up is lower, and then we get these two big red candles, um, spinning top, long wick. Candle closes the bottom, so you know you gain very bearish. Uh, the volume does start to dry up. Then you get this pop again, but again, look how low. I mean, here's your the green, the lower volume, and then a huge volume on the pop again, but closes it red candle. So then and then starts to sell off. So this is a bearish pattern now, um, and I, I just it's the end of the day. It's coming before a weekend. I just don't think that. You know, if I was a betting person, if I was a betting man, um, then, you know, I'd be out of this stock because, you know, maybe it's 50-50, but who wants to take the risk of, you know, giving back the profit? You can always, if it breaks out over the 1750, you could always come back into it. Or, you know, if it, if it looks like if the, if the pattern changes, but for now, this pattern is bearish and you would look for this to, end up lower on the day.